Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik and in this video I'll be going over hold days. More specifically, how to apply hold days to your elements. Here's a situation. I've got my schedule already created but I didn't set up hold days in the beginning. So I need to apply hold days to a majority of my existing elements. Here's how I can do it. Alright, so here I have my schedule and like I said I have everything filled out but I didn't set up my hold days when I first started the schedule. So if I go over here to my cast members and I double click a cast member, you'll notice that allow hold days isn't checked uh, for all the cast members. So I can go in here and uh, click allow hold days, but if I want to do that to each and every one of my cast members, that could take a lot of time. So if we want to apply it to all the existing ones, here's how we can do that. If I click OK, um, I can go up to design, category manager, select the cast members category and I can either double click that category or click the edit icon and I would go in here and say allow day out days hold days and also apply to existing elements if I didn't check that apply to existing elements what would happen is only new elements that cr were created would have the allow day, day out days hold days automatically checked uh, with the apply to existing elements obviously it applies to all the existing elements if I change any of these other settings, I would also need to check the apply to existing elements for each setting across here. But right now I'm just doing the whole days. And I'm going to click OK. And in the background I'll go ahead and do all that. I'm going to go ahead and close the category manager. And now notice if I double click any cast member, uh, the allow day of days whole days is checked. Now that applied it to all my cast members. But there's a minority of them that don't need the allow day out days whole days checked. So an easy way to do that is to go up to breakdown, element manager, and I can select just specific uh, actors or cast members that don't need the whole days uh, checked. So I can double click them and bring up their el edit element properties and uncheck allow day out days whole days. So this works if you need most a majority of your uh, actors with allow hold days and a minority that don't you would come in and find the ones that don't and uncheck that option and then once you have everything set the way you like it I'm gonna go ahead and close the element manager and let me just show you how that ends up I'm gonna go up to file print view select the day out days tab and click view on my cast members and you'll see that there's a lot of hold days applied to all my cast members, but obviously this is not efficient, so I've got a lot of work to do to clean this up, but that's a whole nother lesson. Remember, you can do the reverse of that if you just want to apply hold days to just a few of your elements. Would you like to contact us with tips and tricks that you'd like to see in the future? Here are all the ways you can do that. You can send an email to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates on when we add new videos. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash movie underscore magic. You can also follow us on Facebook and become a fan, facebook.com slash movie magic. And also be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching.